Hi guys, this is Marvin from ShopsadaPage.com and today we're going to do an unboxing and review of the Red Dragon Mirage M690 Wireless Gaming Mouse. Let's get to it! Alright guys, I have here the Red Dragon Mirage M690 Wireless Gaming Mouse. It has 4800 dpi with 8 buttons and uses an infrared engine with a 15 meter range and a powerful driver. At the back, we have more information about the product. It has on-the-fly DPI adjustment, grip-enhanced scroll wheel, rapid fire button, and the backlit can be turned on and off which is good. It also has two programmable thumb button and a game switch button. So let's see what comes in the box. So inside the box, we have here the drivers and the manual. We also have here the wireless dongle and of course, the mouse itself. At first touch, the mouse feels nice. I like the fact that it's rubber coated so it feels really nice to the touch. At the center, we have the DPI buttons and the scroll wheel. At the bottom, we have the Red Dragon logo and some accent lining here. At the right side, we have this nice textured grip with grill design to show some illumination. And on the other side, we have the same texture design and the forward and back buttons as well as the rapid fire button right here. At the bottom, we have the slot for the wireless dongle we have the optical sensor, the battery compartment, and the power and mode switch right here, as well as the 5 Teflon mouse feet. In front, we can see that the curve of the mouse is geared towards right-handed users as you can see here. It has a nice weight to it and the buttons are easy to press with a nice tactile feedback. The rubber coating feels really nice in the fingertips and the overall feel of the mouse is comfortable. The only issue that I'm seeing here, at least for my hands, is that the rapid fire button is a little bit hard to reach. That's something you have to take in mind if you have a small hand like me. Other than that, all the buttons are well within my reach. The grip is also substantial and the gliding fusion is also smooth. Here's a quick sound test for the mouse buttons. As you've heard, the buttons are quite clicky and tactile and equally responsive. There's no issue on this aspect of the mouse. The scroll wheel spins perfectly stable without any wiggling and the button is also clicky and tactile. The left side buttons are also tactile and have different textures on it. The rapid fire button is also functional if you're able to reach it. The overall feel of the buttons on this side is decent, no issues on this as well. At the other side, depending on the size of your hand, it's also quite comfortable without so much drag on your pinky fingers across the mouse pad. The overall ergonomics and comfort for this mouse is very nice, at least for my experience. It's one of the most comfortable mouse that I've used thanks to its ergonomic design. It's also not that heavy at around 108 grams with battery and 92 grams without one. Of course, your mileage may vary depending on the battery you use. When it comes to lifting sensitivity, this is fine. This is acceptable. And at this height, the mouse will not move anymore. As I've mentioned, there's not much resistance with regards to gliding. Thanks to the 5 super smooth Teflon feet and by the way, Inside the package, you'll also get this extra mouse feet just in case this 5 wears out over time. Looking closer at the power modes, we have the eco mode and the on and off switch. While turned on, of course, the mouse illumination will be turned on here, as well as the logo right here, and this lining and on the scroll button as well as on the other side. Now, if we switch to eco mode, the LED on the scroll wheel will flash green for a while, indicating that we're running on eco mode and all the LED light will be turned off to save energy. The mouse will also go to sleep mode if it's not being used for a certain period of time and you'll have to click on a button to reactivate it, which I think is a pretty nifty feature. Speaking of feature, you can take full advantage of the features of this mouse by downloading the Red Dragon Mirage software from their official website. Inside the software, you can customize the functionality of the 8 buttons to your liking as well as the double click, pointer, and scroll speed of the mouse. You can also opt to turn on enhanced pointer precision and define your polling rate up to 500 MHz, which I was able to verify using the mouse rate checker. Now, one of my issues with this mouse is the DPI settings. I'm used to 3000 DPI but unfortunately, there's no option to enter your desired DPI here. You can only choose between the 6 presets ranging from 800 to 4800. I was able to adjust after some time but that is something that you also have to consider if you're going to get this mouse. Other than that, the software is pretty intuitive and useful for the most part. Moving on to the gaming performance, the buttons are precise when it comes to quick sniping and burst fire. And the rapid fire button works as its name. It fires up a quick burst of shot when being clicked. 
When it comes to latency since this is wireless, it's something that you also have to consider. To be honest, I feel like there's a little bit of delay, especially on quick flicks. I'm not sure if it reflects properly on this video but comparing it to my wired mouse, there's definitely some delay. It's not super fatal though and for most users, especially casual gamers like me, this is pretty much acceptable. And for the price point, I am really not expecting competitive gamers to consider this anyways. Now when it comes to other games such as Dota 2, I didn't encounter any issues with it. The mouse button's responsiveness is right on point and the movements are smooth enough to move around the map and stuff like that. Pretty decent wireless mouse for RPG games and the like. Now to conclude, what you're going to get with the Red Dragon Mirage M690 wireless gaming mouse is the untethered experience on a budget. You'll have the luxury to experience couch gaming without worrying about wires. The mouse itself is well built and designed with comfortability in mind. If you're a casual gamer and can tolerate a little bit of latency, then you shouldn't have a problem enjoying this mouse. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. If you like this, please leave a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel to support me. Make sure to check the full article link on the description below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.